Let's take a look at this demonstration. In the perforation process, the Connects charge performs essentially the same as a conventional one. When the gun is fired, the detonation of each shaped charge turns the charge liner into a fast-moving, high-density jet. That jet travels through the gun body, casing and rock, creating the perforation tunnel. This bulldozing action plastically deforms the rock and drives crushed formation material into surrounding pores, creating what is known as the crushed zone. However, it's what takes place after the tunnel is formed that leads to vastly improved tunnel geometry and performance. With a conventional charge, jet remnants and formation material plug the tunnel tip with compact, impermeable debris. If underbalanced perforating fails to remove these barriers, additional intervention may be required to achieve satisfactory flow. This may include a stimulation treatment such as an acid wash or fracturing operation. It's different when reactive materials come into play. Unlike conventional charges, the Connects charge creates a secondary reaction just microseconds after the perforation tunnel has been formed. Liner material deposited along the tunnel reacts exothermically with itself, generating heat and pressure within and around the tunnel. This pressure breaks up the compacted debris in the crushed zone, expelling it into the wellbore. This cleaning action occurs independently in each tunnel, regardless of rock types or prevailing wellbore and reservoir pressures. In sufficiently competent rocks, fractures are also generated at the tunnel tip. The result is a large, debris-free tunnel. Laboratory testing of Connects charges has shown dramatic improvements in overall tunnel geometry and quality. Cleaner, larger tunnels make for better inflow of oil and gas, and a more efficient use of your resources. Since each tunnel is cleaned by the reactive perforating action, underbalance is no longer essential, nor are systems aimed at enhancing dynamic underbalance. Stimulation treatments are facilitated by the reduction in perforation friction, by tip fractures created by the secondary reaction, and by unimpaired fluid access to undamaged rock. Take a look at this demonstration of a fracture stimulation. When fracturing fluid enters a tunnel created by a conventional charge, the narrow tunnel creates a significant pressure drop. The fluid then must find its way through the damaged tunnel walls and onto the preferred fracture plane. This often creates multiple fractures and results in a tortuous flow path and even higher pressure losses. However, when fracture stimulation is performed in a tunnel created by the Connects charge, the unimpaired fluid is able to travel straight to the end of the tunnel without significant pressure loss. There, it exits onto the fracture plane through tip fractures already created during perforation. Field personnel using Connects products report reductions in fracture initiation pressure of up to 70%. Lower treating pressures permit higher treating rates. As little as a 10% increase in treating rate during fracturing has been shown to yield 30 to 40% greater initial well productivity. Next, let's compare an acid stimulation treatment in a tunnel created by a conventional charge versus one created by Connex. In the narrow tunnel created by conventional perforation, the effectiveness of acid stimulation is greatly limited due to numerous branched wormholes being formed along the perforation. However, in the Connex created tunnel, a single dominant wormhole grows from the tip, resulting in much more effective stimulation. Significantly more productivity is achieved through acid stimulation from a Connex created tunnel due to the larger effective wellbore radius and the increased chance of intersecting natural fractures.